you always make things weird. It looks like she is way over 7 feet. In a few more days you will eat again. Hello all you wonderful people and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new to the channel. I really hope your day is amazing so far. So today we're going to feed some of the bigger snakes and well a couple of other things as well. So stick around and really hope you'll enjoy this. Yeah, here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. How about we start with removing Rainbow's old shed? So, apparently she shed it tonight. So, let's remove this and, well, look for poop. So, let's see if we can remove the shed without ripping it apart. See? Hopefully, we'll get the full shed. If I don't rip it apart. Of course it's behind that. Like this. I can pull it off. I think I'm pretty close to the poop as well. Because it's real smelly. Of course, it's right next to my face. So, yeah, I have to move this side. Oh. I think the shed is in one piece. Look at that. The shed is one piece. So how about we look at the shed? And this is a complete shed from a Brazilian rainbow boa. And this may shock you guys, but you see, it looks like she's way over seven feet. But to be honest, she is probably only about this big in reality because the snake shed always stretches out I think it can stretch to between 30 and 40 percent so when you see a shed you think wow what a big snake but probably the snake isn't even close to that big so yeah this looks real big and I think this is the maximum of what they can get actually when talking about females and the, Brazilian, and the Brazilian rainbow boa gets pretty much bigger than the Colombian rainbow boa. But yeah, this is a nice full shed. And well, I just noticed something. The shed was laying in the poop. So I think I need to go wash my hands and then it's time to thaw out the, the rats for the snakes. And what we will do when while the food is thawing out, I don't know, but probably something funny, I hope at least. So yeah, time to move on. I'm thinking why not clean out these two bins. I don't have anything better to do. It actually was maybe a month ago. So yeah, and here you can see one of them has, well, tipped out the water bowl. So yeah, so why not do this? You see, this is not good. So time to clean it out. So to clean these, I'm gonna use water, a dish brush and regular dish soap.
nice clean bin sort. And yeah, she is starting to outgrow this. So if I don't get her sold soon, I have to upgrade her to a bigger bin. Time for this little girl as well. So now we have a nice clean home. Please don't spill out the water. The food needs a couple more minutes thawing up. So how about we check up on Tage and see if he wants some superworms. I think that someone's ready for food or maybe ready just coming out and in close, but we'll see if you want some food. Hello buddy. See? Here. No, he's just interested in me. Here you go man. Oh. Let me go please. Young sir. You want some food man? Come on now. You can't always do this. Now if we can feed you on cam. He does eat. I just gave him a quick to see if he wanted it, but I don't know what it's, know what it's up to. Yeah, that's it. Don't play with your food. Eat it. Don't play with your food, man. Give multiple choices, maybe. Well, this was a weird segment of the video. Now he's got it. Good job, man. Just took him a while. Let's see if I can. Maybe if I can find another one. I bet they all are buried down now. Just because you have to act weird, man. You always make things weird. Don't mind me, man. Come on. Where did they go? Well, you know what, man? You have food in this enclosure, and I know you can hunt for yourself, so... Yeah. You're so weird, man. Oh, sorry, sorry, dude. Sorry. Scared him a little. He's acting so weird sometimes. What you have to, dude? What are you doing, man? Why do you think that I am a female? Come on, man. See what he's doing? This is courting behavior, for those who are wondering. So, as I've said before, he really needs a female, and I am on the look. I am the lookout for one, actually. So as soon as I find a female, I will buy it. Because I also want to want to breed Mackie Wonders. So yeah. Well, Tage, time for you to go back and maybe you can find, find your food on your own. And as you can see, he is pretty well fed. So yeah. Forgot to zoom out. There you go. So you can see he's pretty well fed. Go back, man. Come on, my little dude. Love you, buddy. So, time to start feeding the snakes. And I think we'll start with Harley. Got a big rat for you here. Here we go. Here you go, Harley. Come on. 
She missed it. There you go. There you go. I think we have someone else here that smells the food. But I fed you just a couple of days ago, little dude. You have to wait. Okay, I promise. In a few more days, you'll eat again. He's so awesome. Let's see if Sasu wants some food as well. You do? I hope that was a good shot. Let's see if Cruella wants one as well. Hopefully she will take it. Should be right over there. So, let's see if I can move this maybe. Put that over there for now. And we'll see. don't know if I can get a good shot of Ragnar eating but let's see if he even will eat there he is I'm gonna take it well we'll do a drop feed and then we'll see if he starts to eat later maybe hopefully Many people believe that snakes actually can dislocate their jaws. This is not true. However, their bottom jaw is not connected at the end, which makes their jaws very flexible. And of course, the skin is very flexible as well. So it's also with the help of the jaws, because the mandibles can move independently of each other. And this is how the snake is able to push the food down the throat. Just as you can see Rainbow doing here. See how she works with her jaw? So this is how a snake eats. I hope you learned something.
So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And what I would also appreciate is if you would please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. And why don't you check out one of my other videos as well. And while you're at it, please go and check out my brother's channel as well. I will put the link to his channel down below in the description. And I'll leave you with this guys. Take care, be kind to someone, and at least always try to show other people respect. So, till next time, goodbye guys.